You guys want a cookie? Help yourself. Go ahead. When you want. You want one of those? Yeah, no, they suck. Those are pretty good, though. That one right there. And I will be heading back. That is my, uh, my lunch of, uh, sugar and coffee. I'm going to fire me up for a little while. And uh, let's get on to the finishing up the moped. We did a bunch of stuff on this. I don't even remember. It's been so long. It's been about probably about two months. It was over the winter time that we kind of got it running and put a new carb on it. And uh, one of the last things was getting the fuel tank uh, cleaned out and sealed. And you can see in there. But there's a um, like a 415 sealer. Feels very good. Nice and hard insert joke here and I have a somewhere in this bag there is a new there it is pet cock my pet cock is gonna go into there and uh, we can run fuel lines start buttoning up some last-minute things get it kind of cleaned up and the boot wire looks like it can use a little bit of love just stuff like that we already know it runs I've never gotten to ride it down the road uh, the a couple things I went and I don't think I discussed was the exhaust. I opened the exhaust system up. I drilled it out further. I believe in the ass end. There's four holes in there somewhere. I don't know if you could see it. They're opposing. They're uh, that way and that way. Opened them up and I opened up the front side also. Help it breathe a little bit more. And after that, I don't quite remember. So I figure we'll, let's go jump on the fuel, get all that kind of buttoned up, and uh, see where it goes. Let's see if we can kind of clean up a little bit of the caca on the outside of there. Noise alert. without beating the crap out of all that. Ah! Hope that fits. Not quite sure how that goes together. Kind of a Probably should have marked where that was pointing, huh? I guess it's touching there, touching there. We'll go with it right there. What that is reserved, that higher to pickup tube that was on there. Your fuel level gets down to that point, starves, then you switch over to a different level. Now it pulls straight in, allows that last little bit of fuel to be used to get you home. Let me go grab a wrench and uh, tighten that puppy down. I'd do a little relabeling. That's what they had on. It reserved with straight up, off that way, and on down. Well, I don't have straight up. I have that, that, and kind of that. And even if I tried to rotate it, I still wouldn't be able to get it enough. So, it's written there. So that's off when I blow through it, on, and then reserve. So we could leave her in the on position. It seems like it clears the plastic pretty well. Should be fine. One thing I do know is going to be an issue though on the other side is when the plastic goes on, the choke. Yeah, you see how the choke is kind of like really. Oh, that's not too good. It's already hitting the body. I'm not sure if that's full all the way up. Let's give her a little. Try to give her a little. You have to give that a little tweak and I'd be able to attach something to that so that I could function that choke because when this cover is on there, where'd, where'd she go? Like that. Well, that's going to be a little rough to reach. So we have to make a little extension for that anyway. So maybe I'll, I don't know if I want to pop that carburetor out of there or. I mean, we'll take the button off the top and just try to come come up with something that extends that. Even if I have to tack a little something on there. See what we come up with. 
So I loosened it up and kind of turned it a little bit. And now you can see the, the distance that that's supposed to travel. And here's the old carburetor and the pin that was on that. You see how oh, she was nice and lanky and kind of popped up through the top of that cover. So I'm not sure if that's maybe just threaded right on there. We can change it out. Here it's got to go one way or the other way, right? So maybe, just maybe. Wasn't threaded. It's kind of stuck on there. I think we'll get that lucky on this one. Then again, I could probably steal the. Yeah, I might be able to steal the whole guts out of that. Let's see what this does first, though. I think we might be good. Maybe have to put a little bit of epoxy or something in there. All right, that's full choke. Let's get ram that down in there. Too loose. Plus, it's got to be able to go all the way down like that for off. So we are only going to have all that much room. What do you think? Glue it? Maybe. I'm going to go take this one apart. This is a knockoff, so the guts from there may not fit in there. We go take that one apart and just see if I can kind of change stuff over. If not, I think we're going to go with epoxy. Set you up a little higher. Let's see if we can unthread that. I popped the other one apart. And uh, let's just see if we could change that pin right out of there. Is it going to come out? It's going to come out without wrecking everything else? It's got some kind of spring loaded retaining ring in there. How about if we go that way? There's the two pins. Seems like it fits much tighter on that one. And now I have two be able to grab all this crap. And that, that, the gasket, that piece. <laughs> all right, don't throw nothing. That piece. How'd it go? Like that or like that? Did you see when it came out? I want to say it goes like that. You guys really want to watch this? The aggravation, the frustration. I'd say it went like. Did it go like that? A lot of you guys are saying, just pull the carburetor off. Where's the challenge in that? <laughs> yeah. I ended up pulling it off. I got it together. And still afraid of it ripping out of there. Of course, the more that it kind of slides, the worse it's going to, you know, the more that it, the plastic gets played with, it's uh, going to get looser and looser. So I got some crappy old Lyman's and I'm going to try putting a couple of 
like indents, scratches, you want to call it. Let's give it two more. Give it some kind of tooth for in there, you know. Let's see how that does. Think. It's kind of chalky moving. I think this pin. Good enough. We'll put that back together. Let's right, see if we can do something with this uh, crappy looking plug wire. Let's see what is in store for us today. One layer. You guys see the starting point for this one? You're not pointing it out. Right about right there. How about we make our own? Yep. We got a visitor. Hold on. Pulse alarm. She was calling the dog. And this looks like... You guys are waiting for me to slice myself, aren't you? It's not nice. Getting down to something. I bet you it was probably just pulling out of the end of it. There we go. I don't know. You see something I don't? What was the whole point of all of that? Wonder if it was arcing and. Uh, Corrosion in there. That's all green. See the green? But I don't quite see what the, all the hubbub was about that. We will put it back together if we see that it is arcing out. I don't know. Maybe it was arcing to the uh, to the fender. Not sure. Let me go clean. So what I think what's happening was um, when I look down the center where the plug kind of grabs onto it, and you got this. Uh, threaded kind of deal and it usually kind of ratchets into a holder as you can hear she's a sloppy so I have a feeling that that little detent or spring or whatever was supposed to be in the bottom of that that grabbed that failed and what they were doing they were actually probably just taping this whole sucker right onto the uh, end of the spark plug to keep it from falling off I am going to try tapping on that post a little bit and see if it Feels like it went in. See if that goes in to where I could see the little nipple again. Actually, I actually think I do. Now, oh, watch one too far. Oh, look at that. That works. All right. So let me. I'm gonna go into sandblaster and try to clean some of that green off of there. So that's what happened. This thing probably got you yanked on with the plug wire. You know, somebody yanked on it and it pulled the center back. So now it wasn't ratcheting on the plug anymore. Now, it does. I like it when you have to buy parts. So I'm putting the plastic covers back on. If I thought this was pretty cool. Inside one of the covers, it's got a little pump that uh, stays stored away. Kind of like an old bicycle pump that used to go on your handlebars. They, in turn, I think it goes, I think it goes like that. I think this is going any further. No. I was right. So that's pretty cool. It'd be nice to have a little patch kit or something right here too, but can't for everything, can we? So when I was coating a gas tank, 
I had it hanging from my cherry picker from here and kind of had the bike all different directions so that the, the cream that was in the tank can flow all around and seal everything up. And when I did that, it pissed out a bunch of the uh, fluid out of the sprocket out of the other side for the transmission. So I went and I topped it back off again, filled it back up, but I think I got a little overzealous. We're going to let that kind of run till it stops. It's getting pretty close now. And before I put gas in it, I want to fix that foot peg. You feel that one's got a little leg on it. That one's broken off. And I figure before we have gas all around it, we'll make a little paw for that and weld that on there. Also, what I, I cut, I don't know if I said it, I cut back about a half inch on this guy to get rid of the corrosion that was on the wire and I did see him blast the plug uh, socket and that came out really well too. So this connection should be all back to good. Hopefully. I say one of my scrap pile and this is a piece of uh, frame, bike frame, I just kind of hammered flat. Let's see if we can kind of probably do something just like probably that. I guess make sure that the pedal clears. Huh? Should I? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it in the vise. I'm going to curl the ass end of it up a little bit so it kind of helps match that profile. And then we'll hit it. Something like, see the curve? All right. Now I need, I need air. I'm not prepared. I'm getting it out. A report card. I'm still plugged into the sand blaster. I brought the sander over. Nothing to hook. Alright, let's go and clean both of those up. And we are gonna want basically the sides. pretty good. Probably a pair of ice grips would be a good thing too. Again, not prepared. It's alright. Story of my life. A report card would say. Does not apply himself. pretty close. You know what? How about we put a glove on. We just hold it there where we want it. And tack it. Crank our juice up a little bit. We'll call that eighth inch. Hold the helmet on. One glove. And now I think we're ready to rock and roll. If I can find where the Let's go. You think something right about those? No ground. For now. Hit ground now. Let's see how that looks. Battery's flashing on the camera, so you're gonna shut off any minute. Be clear. How is it? In a down position. Little adjustment. It's pretty good. Seems to like the ground on the spring, so we'll leave that alone. 
Let's see if we can buzz it back together. I should have nailed there, huh? No. More on the back side. That should do it. Go clean that up, throw a bit of black paint on her. You never know. Well, other than putting a license plate on it in the rear view mirror, I think it's good to go. Well, let's find out what happens when we put gas in the tank. So the pet is in the off position. Let's see how we do. It pours out the other side. That should be more than enough. Don't see nothing oozing out around it. Let's go for the should be on. Should really let's go for reserve. I could probably turn that pet a little further, I think. Counterclockwise. is does the gas make it all the way down to the carburetor let me go to lower the bench and uh, let's go put it on the center stand I already painted it and uh, pedal it see if she'll fire up carbs dripping piece of china crap well let's see if we can go get it to fire up anyway that's the choke being on is down and it's in a run I believe so we get Yeah, it looks like it's leaking right at the, the brass fitting right there. That's a risky. Let's flip her back to on. She 
for weeks in the out position. Yeah, it leaks in the out position. <laughs> Should just love having to do stuff over and over again. I don't even see a seal there. How is it supposed to seal if it's got nothing? There's one on the inside, but... <sighs> Woe is me. How much did I put in there? <laughs> it's like the bench is going to get washed too. And the paint came off my leg. You done yet? Sometimes you wish you had a square pan. Alright, so here's what I think is going on. Is that... It looks like it sat in that position so long that it kind of made a memory. You see the imprint there? And then when I rotate it, and now I'm trying to catch these two holes, that's when it's leaking because it's got like that speed bump in the middle of it right there so I don't know if I am going to be able to do anything about it I can flip it over because it's got little nipples for a recess where it sits in so it doesn't you know spin inside the socket so I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that spring that spring yeah that one that spring I think I'm gonna expand it a little bit try to give it maybe a little bit more preload and then maybe we'll try it in the other position, whether it was reserve or um, on. I'm not sure which one it was. And see if this is one of the positions of reserve or on. I think it would. I would think off would be, you know, just blocking off a port altogether. So let's see if that spot will do it. And maybe kind of in increasing that little tension a little bit might help. We'll consider that round the gas tank flush <laughs> so the pet is got a lot more pressure on it since I did that hopefully it works if not don't know what to do just gonna have to junk it yeah, let's not put as much fuel in as we did the first time I just wanted to make sure I had enough to go um, to get up to the on position, you know what I mean? See if it was leaking in on, which was up further in the tank, that's why I did that. I got cocky. Should probably take an air gun. We'll blow some of the crap out of there. Go for on. And it might not have enough gas to make a difference for that. What is there? So far, so good. You think put more fuel in it? Let's put more fuel in it. Still good in the reserve spot.
I also want to put fuel clamps on the line. I don't have any that are the correct size. And I kind of like those little spring-loaded ones that you get. i got to find a location. I'll show you what I'm talking about. These guys. I like to get uh, an assortment of these like you can get in regular hose clamps. You look on eBay or something. I kind of like those because what happens is this, this Tigon fuel line, over time the gas makes it uh, rock hard. So those little clamps are kind of nice because it, it constantly gives pressure on it. Where stairs, instead of a clamp that you screw down on it, it seems like it kind of loosens up as the material moves out of the way. Th those always kind of seem to keep tension on it. I think we got it. And I have a nice little pan of cleaning fuel. I can go clean my bench afterwards. All right, let's go. What do we want to do now? Maybe we'll go get a license plate mounted on the ass end. We'll probably go take it for a ride. Let's ride. Wrong. So it seemed like the more it ran, the worse it got. And my opinion is it probably started sucking up some crap. So let's go find out. Oh, the bowl was tight. That'll do it right there. Oh yeah, all kinds of shit. Actually has... Looks to be a little puddle of water. Hmm. Strange. Dump that out. Look at all the white crap that came out of it. What's that? Still tight, but I'm gonna go take that, clean that apart, Let's clean that apart, clean that up again, and I'm gonna pop that jet out of there, see what it looks like. Give it a bath. And again, it may have just purged a bunch of crap out of the system. First, it was running great. Then it would do like 25 mile an hour, and then it was doing 20 mile an hour, and then it was doing. Like, you give it full throttle, you give it half throttle, and then quarter throttle, and then the idle started getting higher and higher on it. So it's kind of acting like it had a dirty pee pee hole. Uh, you think? I think it's got a dirty pee pee hole. Hard to see, huh? Well, I'll blow that out and see what we get.
better. So it's running pretty good, except for it's kind of four stroking a little bit on the higher RPMs. You can kind of hear it where it's, you know, it's running smooth and then it gets that, that raspy kind of sound to it. Break it up a little. That's four stroking. It's running a little too rich on the high side. So it's either going to need a um, smaller jet or I don't know if I could change the pin around inside the throttle. But I am going to look in the other carb that I took apart, see what jet is in that, and kind of play with it and just see if we can kind of fine tune it and get it to run. Uh, the speed trap said I got it doing 30. Uh, the bike was set up to do 25. We were already up to 30, which is kind of what mopeds are supposed to be able to run at. So we're close. I think I'd like to get it to eh, 35 or so. It would be nice. Give it a little bit more balls. Give it um, a little bit more fine tuning. But we're, we're close. I just got to get a mirror for it, a better seat. Uh, I'm going to wait for yard sale season to kick in. We'll see if we can find something better for that and a couple other little picnics. But for now, I think we're going to wrap it up here, guys. Uh, it seems to be working pretty good. I'm happy with it. Got a couple other bikes we still have to dig out that were done during the uh, winter time, and we'll make videos on those too. Again, guys, thanks for watching, comment, subscribing. If you like what you see, give us a sub. Later. Let's see if you'll focus. Right before I turned the camera on, it was in focus. There we go. You can see the centers of those holes. You can see the difference in the size. So the one on the left, I think, is a 50. How did it go? The one with the larger hole is what was in it now, and the one that was in the original carburetor, which I think was a Bing 13, and we got a 15 on there now. I'm not sure of that, but I think it's running way too rich, so I'm going to try running the jet that was in the other car, which was a 56, and I'll see if I get a little bit better uh, response out of it. It's a lot easier to drill the small one larger than it is to make the larger one small. You could do it. You gotta fill it with like solder and drill it and all that. But Let's see what we get with this one. So now it's way too lean. Now you go, you hit it and it just falls on its face. And it's idling much higher. It's hard to adjust the idle. And when I put the choke on, it improved. So too far. I don't know if I want to drill that one. It didn't fit in the socket the same. Again, one's a, uh, you know, one's a knockoff and one's an actual bin carburetor. So, you know, they are what they are. So I think I'm going to put the original jet back in and me look at it and see if I can possibly tweak it, close it up just a hair, and go from there. I also haven't tried running it without the air cleaner too, but the air cleaner's opened up pretty good. I'm not, I don't think it's much of a restriction. But we'll find out. We'll keep playing with it and see what uh, we get. So what if you took a drill bit, your stand's gonna be a little wobbly. Well, not for the ride. Yeah, there you go. What if we took a drill bit that is just the right size to fit this is the original jet. 
to fit down the throat and we give it a tap and try to mush the inside. I hope you didn't mush it too far. Try to mush the inside shut more. Don't need much. Just try to restrict that path just a little bit more. I'd say my luck I'll drop it and it'll run across the room. I say we tap it on the other side too. Try to just launch it and I never see it again. 30 years from now. 30 years from now I'll find it. I almost called in that one to a T, didn't I? So I haven't hit it with a hammer yet. I don't know if you get problem is I'm trying to make it so you guys can see. I could probably take a little punch, a little pointy one, and stab around it. Kind of like when the valve seat let, lets go. And you punch the head to hold the seat in after it's loose. I don't think I have anything that fine though. That may have done something. I mean I've done shit. <laughs> so let's go throw that back in. Keep looking at the magnifying glass to see what I got. Why don't we throw that back in, give it a shot, and uh, go from there. And I'm doing this handheld because the zoom is not playing. You look in the center there, you can see that the uh, the hole's not quite round anymore. It seems like I was able to tap material down from the, not where the slot is cut for the screw, but uh, you know, if you're looking at it, I don't know, two o'clock and seven o'clock, that kind of thing, you could see that uh, the hole's old on those sides. So I did kind of shrink it down some, so hopefully it'll be enough to make a difference, but I was able to get something out of it. Yeah, let's see if this sucker goes. The idle's a lot lower. I didn't change any of the settings. That actually sounds better, sounds better without the air cleaner. You can hear it's getting closer and closer to it. You want to go, you know, there's a sweet spot where it's going to make a ton of power, but it's going to melt down real easy. It's going to run real hot. So you're trying to, you know, run that fine line. Night ride.
broke the speed limit. Not bad. It's just getting back from the run. It's better. It's uh again, it's all stock parts, but uh, it can go for being a little, still a little bit leaner, and uh, I'm sure, you know, it, the the list goes on as far as how you want to start modifying it. But at least it does what it's supposed to. You know, nothing like it. It's, the speeds go by. Certain towns had different levels, and it was a 20 20 mile an hour speed limit. Some had 25, some had 30. So it all depends on where the moped was so, sold, how it was set up for, and it was a, as far as this machine was concerned, it was a one horse, a one and a half horse, or two horse. I believe this was set up for a one and a half, which was set to do 25. The stickers wore off, but um, judging by the carburetor that was on in the intake, it was the smaller setup, which would have made for uh, a restriction. So that's why I went with a larger carb. And, uh, it seems like it's now set up as the two, two horsepower. The engine's supposed to be the same. It's just supposed to have some, you know, tuning differences uh, to it. But it seems like it's running pretty good. I'm going to order a couple of more parts for it and uh, fix up a couple other things. This still needs a mirror. It needs the brackets, these brackets you can buy. Right now they're tie wrapped in place. But these uh, bottom halves of the switches are available. I'll probably grab a couple of them. No gas is dripping. That's a good sign. 